What is up guys, it's Modern Warfare here and welcome back to another Apparition Net Studio video. So in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to purchase Apparition Net and get everything set up. Now, the reason I'm doing this is that I just want to avoid any confusion. It's a fairly straightforward process, but there's always certain people that uh, come to me saying that, oh, I've like who people just people just don't understand how the setup works, even though it's fairly self-explanatory. But I'm going to show you guys anyway, just to try and avoid as much confusion as possible. So if you're thinking of purchasing Apparition Net, what you want to do is go ahead and click the link in the description, the video, the link in the description, or you can head to the website. Now, if you click the link um, in the description then you'll go straight to the payment uh, section. But if you go to the website, which is apparitionnet.co.uk, you can click this button here to purchase, or you can scroll down to here and purchase right there. Now, once you've done that, it will take you here to the purchase page. You need to enter a valid email address. Now, we're doing a little case of say, uh, do as I say, not as I do um, right here because I'm going to just use a 10 minute mail address for this example, but please don't use 10 minute mail. Please use your actual email address because 10 minute mails expire in 10 minutes and if for whatever reason something goes wrong and you lose the license, then you're screwed. So don't use 10 minute mail. I'm just using it as an example because I'm not gonna use the same email address that I'm paying to because that's just weird. So paste in your email address in here and click make purchase. Once you've done that, it'll give you the information that um, the code that you're paying for will be sent to the email address you typed in. So make sure that this is a valid email address that you're typing in and it'll give you the amount is $25 and then you just click confirm and purchase. Okay, so this bit is very self-explanatory. This just this is just a PayPal, um, PayPal IPN. So all you have to do is enter your email address and password for your PayPal account, click login, confirm purchase, and you will have paid for an Apparition Net Studio license. It's as simple as that. And that's it. So just go ahead and do that. And once you've done that, an email will be sent to the email address that you selected. Okay. And just head to the email address that you typed in and you'll have a new email from apparitionnet 2 at outlook.com and it should say that your payment was successful. Just click this option and it will give you the message. Dear customer, thank you for buying Apparitionet Studio. Um, the format should be better than this when it's actually, um, I think it's just because of 10 minute mail. But anyway, it will give you the download link right here which you can open in a new tab. That will give you the link to the installer. So go ahead and download that. 36.7 megabytes. The version may increase, uh, obviously in updates that version will be different. Then you've also got your installer serial, so you want to copy that and because I'm on a 10 minute mail address I'm just going to copy this to a notepad document so that, uh, so that uh, it doesn't expire on me. So there we go, it's gone ahead and downloaded the installer so all you have to do is extract the setup.exe to your computer and run it. Click run and it will open up the installer for Apparition Net Studio. So what you want to do is just click next. When it says serial number, this is where you want from the email to grab the installer serial. So copy that and paste it in the serial number. You do not need to enter an organization. Click next click next. I recommend always installing it to the default location rather than changing it. You can change it if you want, but you know, to avoid bugs and stuff, I highly recommend you just leave that as the default location and click next, create desktop icon, next and finish. And you've now got Apparition Net installed. Okay. So now you can get rid of the installer. Okay. So now you've got Apparition Net Studio installed. The next thing you want to do is extract the plugins folder and install the plugins. So I assume you would already have uh, XBDM for Xbox 360 Neighborhood installed. Uh, otherwise, Apparition Net Studio is not going to work. So you're going to head into your hard drive. You can do this on XCX menu or Freestyle Dash as well. You want to edit your launch.ini file. So go ahead and extract it, open it up. And you want to add in XBDM, XRPC, and JRPC if you don't already have 
XPDM, XRPC and JRPC. That is what you need. It's not JRPC2. We do not use JRPC2. It's JRPC1, which should be, I believe it's around 60 megabytes, uh, kilobytes, I mean. So yeah, it's about 60 kilobytes. So if you have a JRPC that's 72 kilobytes or 42 kilobytes or something like that, it's not the correct one. So make sure you use the one that comes with AppNet, which is the original JRPC1. Uh, so once you've done that, you can go ahead and save it. Save your launch.ini, drag and drop your launch.ini back onto the console. Then open up the plugins and copy the JRPC and XRPC.XCX over as well. And then just reboot your console and you should be fine. You should have all your plugins set up now. Okay, so now once you've rebooted your console and it's back connected to your network, you want to go ahead and open up Apparition Net Studio. and then click the sign in button. Now you don't have an account so you won't be able to sign in so you have to click the sign up option and enter a username so I'm just going to create new user um, obviously put a username in there then a password and then a CPU key. Now your CPU key is the CPU key of your console so you can get that off Zell if you boot up the console using the eject button you can get it off Zelle if you already have it, maybe on a CD from a seller who sold you your JTAG or RGH console, then it will be on there. It is not the CPU key of a KV that you have on your console. Uh, do not make that mistake. Um, if you are already connected, if you've added the plugins, then you should be able to just click get CPU key from console and it will say this will attempt to connect to the console to get the CPU key. Make sure you have JRPC added as a dash launch plugin and that you have the console added in neighborhood as the default console. So it's just giving you a warning there that if you are going to get it from the console, you need to make sure that your console is connected on Xbox 360 neighborhoods. Like mine is right here with the little orange tick and that you have JRPC set as a plugin, which we've just done. Okay, so now you can go ahead and enter your unlock key. Now your unlock key is going to be this license key right here that you got in your email. So we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste each section in here. And then this is the product key that will allow you to create an account. So I'm going to paste that in there. Now I'm getting CPU key from network then agree to the terms and conditions and create. And you can see it got the CPU key from the console and pasted it in there. If you get an error about the CPU key, then you're not connected properly to your network. So you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to type the CPU key in manually if that is the case. But once you've done that, it should say activation was successful and the software will now restart. Click okay. And the software should close. And now you should be able to just reopen the software again click the sign in button and this time we have an account because we just created one we can type in uh, the username and password of the account we just created you can also click remember my password this means you will not get this sign in box the next time you want to log in so you don't have to type in your username or password again so you can just remember my password, click sign in, and we've signed in, and that's it, we're done. So just to give you an example, if I reboot the software now because I selected remember my password. Okay, so just as an example, I'll open it back up again, just to show you the remember my password. So because we clicked that, we can now just click this button and it should sign us in instantly without having to, um, without having to sign in again. So. Yeah, that's it. You now have access to everything in Apparition Net Studio. Bear in mind that um, if, for example, if you click one of these uh, tools and it doesn't open and you just keep clicking it and it doesn't open, it's either because you entered the wrong CPU key when you created the account, in which case you can update your CPU key once for free by going to my license and then change password or CPU key. You can then go ahead and just type in your username or password that you just created 
log into the customer panel and then you can um, go ahead and enter your actual CPU key and make sure you get it right the second time and then click update. Um, you can also change your password if you're not happy with the password that you used. And that's the customer panel. So you can do that if you if you got the wrong CPU key, if you're clicking this and it's not opening anything. Um, I'm not sure it should open the arcade tools anyway, but if it's not opening, say like the file manager is not opening or the Halo tools or Call of Duty tools are not opening, then it's probably because you entered the wrong CPU key or you might not be connected to the console, in which case it will also not open if you're not connected to the console and you can connect to the console by opening up the console manager and adding your Xbox 360 just like you would do in Neighborhood. And again, check your plugins if you can't open any tools because it's usually because maybe you are, maybe you do have the console showing up in here and it's connected, but maybe your JRPC plugin or your XRPC plugin are not added in Dash Launch properly and therefore it's not going to, it's not going to connect properly. So yeah, that's it. That's the basic tutorial on how to purchase and set up Apparition Net Studio. If you liked the video or you find the information useful, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Shuffling